if you're trying to lose weight and it just seems like you're hitting a wall or the uh, the amount is too much, there's hope. I, I lose weight. <laughs> As he shoves the have a donut <laughs> in his mouth. Dr. Abe Fridman is on. Griffin Hospital, Director of Bariatrics. Hey. Hi, how are you? Good morning. I've been hearing this commercial run on the morning show, and you have me intrigued here. How do you... Uh, how do you become eligible for this type of surgery? Um, so to become eligible, we look really at the person's uh, height and weight, and we determine their BMI, which is their body mass index. And the BMI of 35 or higher really kind of puts you in a category where you may qualify for the surgery and you're in, you know, where your insurance company would actually pay for the surgery. Nice. Um, and that's really maybe like 70, 75 pounds overweight. Wow. Okay. How do you know what weight you're supposed to be? Like, I could go to the internet, type in my age and my height and uh, my gender, and it'll come up with a range. Is right. that there accurate? Is a range. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, so there is an ideal body weight formula. Um, it's probably not the most accurate or the best for everyone. It was, it's kind of older formula from back in the day. It was uh, really determined based on a very, uh, kind of specific population group. Um, so it's really hard to say what everyone's ideal body weight is. Uh, we do sometimes go by the BMI. So if your BMI is, you know, around 25 or lower, you are in a good range, you know, even a, a little bit above that. But that's, everyone is a little different. Yeah. Right. That's the percentage of fat on your body, basically, right? Right. It kind of has to do with height and weight and how much you are over, you know, the ideal body weight. And then what is the surgery? What do you do? So most... So most of the surgeries that we do is kind of what people talk about, stomach stapling, um, where we make the stomach smaller. Um, and smaller size stomach allows you to get fuller quicker. You're satisfied by smaller portions. And not only does it do that, but also we found that there's a big metabolic effect of the surgery, too, where some of the hormones that kind of prevent people from losing weight and um, encourage weight gain, actually, those hormones go in the opposite direction, helping people lose the weight, decrease their appetite, improve satiety. Um, so, you know, people always think it's just stomach staple and your stomach gets smaller, but there's also some other effects that help you lose the weight and keep it off. Nice. It increased your energy too, right? Yeah, yeah, energy, you know. Honestly, the most surprising thing is that people, one or two weeks after surgery, you know, they're saying, oh, I'm not you know, eating or drinking as much as I used to, but my energy is, you know, off the wall. I'm up early. You know, people that never have gone to the gym, they have become gym rats. They're at the gym every day. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, definitely increases. If you put on a 50-pound weight vest like what the firefighters train with, yeah, can mm-hmm. you imagine, like, losing 80 pounds? Right. You could run up a flight of stairs and not lose your breath. Exactly. You can moonwalk, break dance, everything. Yeah. Ashley <laughs> is not really overweight, but she just walks around the building from one door to the other. It's not even really a full circle around right, the building. It's right. halfway around. Right. And she lost her breath. She was sweating. Yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, in shape. Right. Marshmallow's coming out. I don't think you'd qualify for this, though. Right? I, I mean, I would like to lose weight, but it's not 50 or 60 pounds. Right. That's, I think, right. too much. Right. <laughs> But it changes a person's life, right? So when you lose all this weight, what do you do after that? Go clothes shopping. What, what, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's the best. Thing, oh yeah, right? oh, I, I can fit in this. Yes. All the stuff you've been watching, everybody else like, I'm gonna buy skinny jeans. Oh my god, I have so <laughs> many clothes in the closet that I'm waiting. Yeah, the for. ones like I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into. <laughs> They're those. actually waiting for me. Exactly right. I'm, like, I'm not giving them up. I know I'm gonna get back into them. I know they're not in style anymore, but damn it, I'm wearing those. So let's just say I go and you know I qualify and then the surgery scheduled and i go in how many days am i out of work and then uh what happens after that so i mean surgery usually you're in the hospital for about 24 to 48 hours depending on the surgery so you're out pretty quick um usually i would say most people within a week or two they're really back to work and really kind of back to their normal everyday you know activities and doing whatever it is they want to do um so it's really not a very long recovery period. Um, you know, and after that, they keep following with me. 
You know, they keep following with nutritionists at our hospital, you know, other medical specialists. So there's really a whole wow. team that follows them. Nice. Whole and plan. then to get back and, and, to what you, what you guys were saying about what you want to do after you lose the weight, um, our patient Tammy, who may see on billboards, um, she lost a whole bunch of weight and got off on medication. But she said the first thing she wanted to do when she lost the weight was go on a roller coaster with her son. Nice. See? Oh, wow. There's little goals you have you want to well, do. Well, Right. You yeah. don't think of this when you're in that situation. You, there's a lot of life you can't experience right. because Playing limbo of right. your size. Right. Um, that sounds pretty great. And what I like about it, too, is you don't leave the hospital without the 50, 60 pounds. You lose it slowly. So people, you know, they just see you gradually. Hey, you been working out? Hey, you look yeah, good. Yeah, what are you doing? You look good. Right. Yeah. Right. So... Well, that's exciting. Yeah. I think it's very cool. We're going to link up to your site, Griffin Hospital, uh, griffinhospitalbariatrics.com on WPR.com and 95.9thefox.com. Thank you. Doing great work. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, you, you too. Much. Nice, man. Man, that's pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. There are a lot of people who just hit that wall. They just can't do it. The plateau, they call it. I bet a lot of people have had this surgery. Yeah. A whole different person. Oh, my God, yeah. Different per Like, you don't even recognize exactly them. Exactly right. right. Like, what, 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 what? Yeah. Yep. It's like, wow, that was inside of all that, you know? Yep. And when and you feel good about yourself, you, everything, you're happier. You're everything's happier. better. Yeah, emotional. Right. Yeah, maybe lead. they don't even recognize the person they are now. Less right. likely to strike you when you Change say something. Change in so many different <laughs> ways. Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> no, but just think about like if you're heavy and you go into a restaurant, uh-huh. you know, people are looking at you like, wow, you yeah. really need that ice cream? Preconceived notion. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of nasty you. people. There is. There is. That's why you got to punch them. All right. Or, or to lose weight. It or does whatever. that too. Yeah. All right. So we're, we're linked up to that's that. It's a nice right. thing in January. Everyone's thinking about losing weight. I think some folks just have given up. Like years ago, they're just like, yeah, I'm not. Don't give up. Never give up. Here, here you go. Yeah. See? Right, you try that. Got a solution for you. All right. AJ, you'll.